Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Lolo. Let's play Hitman Contracts 5. Franklin, Clinton, Trevor Phillips, and Michael Townley story. And in the last episode, ladies and gentlemen, we got our assigned targets. And now we're going to take care of business. Finish this game up. Then we're going to redo the last mission. And uh, we're just going to go through all the different kinds of end, kind of endings. Kind of like there is in... Uh, there's like one game I'm I, on the Let's Play list that has like three endings I've got to go through. But yeah, we're, we're going to be trying to go through all the rest of it. But for right now, we, cho we chose the Death Wish in the last episode, ladies and gentlemen. Or the episode before last. And uh, now it is time to finish what we started. Liquidate all of our business transactions. What's that? Hey, the old man's here. He's leaving the Beast Club. I'm going to do it now. Dude, hang on, hang on. <laughs> I went again! Went into- I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm beyond dead. I'm so freaking dead. Oh my god. But I won! I freaking won. I've got to escape. This is not escaping. This is the opposite of escaping. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get my health back. Get my health back. Get my health back. Hide. Dude! Just dropped a bomb on him, man. Quite literally. Oh my god. Come on, Frank. I see you. I see you! Thank you. All right, we're getting out of here. We're skedaddling out of here. Good job, Franklin. Good sticky bomb throw. Didn't even see the white of his eyes, man. George Washington would be disappointed, but I am so proud of you. All right, we're going to have to drop some more off, probably. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, dang it. That hit him. You know it, and I know it, ladies and gentlemen. Ah! Hey, <laughs> right in the grill. These dudes ain't going to have no more triads coming after you. We ain't going to have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey, Hey, hey. What's up? Oh. We still gotta do Stretch and Agent Hanks. Alright, let's go with Stretch, the guy that set up Lamar and me. Because remember, I was in on that deal too. With the ballers, remember? He was like, oh, oh, you know. I think that was that deal. I think it was. I don't know. Hard to remember. I know Stretch has probably turned. Obviously, we gotta take care of business. We gotta liquidate all associates. Anybody that knew about us or anything. All right, take out Stretch. Stretch, man, I'm sorry about this. It's nothing personal. It's just business. Well, actually, this this actually is kind of personal. Where is he at? Is he going to get in the car? Yeah, it's strange how the night moves. Well. Oh, oh excuse me. Is that him right there, right in front of us? Worked his pole, what? Man, that's bullshit. You want to see? I'll show you right here, nigga. Watch. Hey! Howdy, Lamar partners. and Franklin send their best! Hey, man, he got stretched in a on his ass. Yeah, they tried to roll on Michael, but Michael was just waiting. Michael was just too much to handle. Oh, starting a w nothing shy you know, of starting stretch. a war in the streets. He ain't a problem no more, Frank. <laughs> Rolled up on him. He's a total cactus, homie. Thanks. So who well, we got, man? What Mr. Trevor. Dude, Mr. FIB Jockey, the, the douche nugget himself that made me torture what's his face, and then I decided not to kill him. So you just torture me. I'm putting you on a plane now, too. Get out of here. Dang, but we saved his life. He did go, have to go through hell before he reached heaven, but uh, we did save his life. All right, Steve, your turn, buddy. Bring down Haynes, man. Is he on the Ferris wheel? I think he's on the Ferris wheel. For whatever reason. I think you got to snipe him on the Ferris wheel. Which is more than fine with me. Oh, excuse me. I thought that was going to break. He is on that Ferris wheel, isn't he? I'm moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. Sure enough. A city of saints. <laughs> a city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Yeah. Cut! Gosh, crap! Who writes this bullshit anyway? What was wrong with that? That was good. That wasn't bad. Okay, all right. You got this framed right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? <laughs> oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Oh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Hi. 
Yeah, yeah, there's about to be a, uh... Whoa! You need to find Pete's bra. Steve! Steve, I can't tell you how much we freaking hate you. Two parts diluted fantasy, Where's he at, dog? Part reality. Mix! This... Is that him right there? Is the result. I know. Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got to what's really going on under the hood. Hard to see. This is a land of dreams. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Calm down, homie. Good. That's not him. He's got to be right here somewhere. What? No, I know it's really good. Just do a couple. There he is. No, I'll pick it up. No, Hello, pick Steve. It up. <laughs> Hey, Holmes! You're my Whoa. mother! Oh my god! <laughs> Guy! That's his name, he shot him! <laughs> and then there was no more problem from the FIB. You're welcome, Dave. Gotta get out of here. Problem, problem, problem. Gotta ski that on out of here, Parker. Trevor probably had the hearts won, because the cops are just gonna be all over here. Why didn't I silently shoot him? Can you tell me right now why I didn't silently shoot Steve Haynes? Because I just, I, I'm a, a big boy that likes to play with big toys. I can't help it. Oh, man. Well, there goes Steve. One quick headshot and it was all over. He probably didn't even feel it, ladies and gentlemen. That's, that's the good thing. That's killing him softly right there. Go left, Trevor, quickly. Ugh. That was Brad Pitt style. But now we still got Devin West and we're just going to show up at his house and roll on some busters. I don't know. Sam, you sound so white when you say it like that. But dude, I'm black. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. Anyway. Devin Weston. Gone with a sink. Gone in a flash before Brucey can hobble to safety or... <laughs> anyway. There's a funny story behind it. There was this one time where I watched... I watched that movie with somebody over at Xbox Live. We put the VH in, hey, VHS Lester, in at the same I time. I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, the team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the top of the hills. <laughs> it's not gonna be I enough. House, it's more of a... Yay! Blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> I'll go up there and get him. Dang, dude. Anyway, we watched it over Xbox Live. We put the VHS in at the same time, and uh, so, but we were in a party, like party chat, we were watching this movie together, and there was somebody else with us, and <laughs> we're watching the movie, and like that point, wherever like he. He throws the bag down and the bat suit falls out of the bag. <laughs> I'll never forget this. <laughs> like we're watching that, and uh, some like the guy that was on the other line, he said something, and then was like, "Well, what do you mean? Like, like how did that? Like what happened? Like, like he's like somebody said something about something, and then was like, well, what happened? And then I chimed in. I'm like, it just fell out of the bag, Dill." <laughs> Bit of an insight, like you had to be there, but like you see in this bat suit fall out of the bag, and D Dylan just happened to say what happened at that point, and me chiming in and saying it just fell out of the bag, Dylan. What do you want me to say? <laughs> he thought that was so funny. I think about that all that was hilarious. Man. Hashtag it just fell out of the bag. <laughs> One of those things, man. One of those things you have to be there. <laughs> Dude, are you ready to finish this game, ladies and gentlemen? It is Devin Weston's turn to taste eternity. He's about to meet his maker via Trevor Phillips. I can't think of anything worse. Well, maybe maybe being dunked head first in some hydrochloric acid, but that's, that's about it. Remember that one scene from that one Saw movie with the needles and the hydrochloric acid? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that sucked. It sucked to be him, and he just wanted to save his family. Too bad! No, so, whoa, whoa, God. No more saving will be done. I hope Michael and Franklin will be there because there's not enough Merriweather people that they can put in between me and Devin Weston right now. He seriously made everybody's lives live in hell. And, like, he kind of left Franklin a Well, no. He wanted Franklin to steal the cars. And he did. So, in a way, he did kind of make uh, everybody's life hell. And then he asked Franklin to kill everybody. So, yeah, Devin West is going down. You don't do that. It's like that scene from Goodfellas when he's like, what do you want me to do, shoot him? And he's like, well, that wouldn't be a bad idea. And then just, he's just staring at him like, are you serious? Oh, well, we're here. I forget his name, though. Having to surround himself with me, it's not going to be enough, game. You don't understand. The passion for me to want to murder for Kate him is too great. 
Nothing can keep. Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. <laughs> There's probably a way to snipe it. Kidnap. Sounds good to me. Where's my sign? We're gonna we're gonna go silence, ladies and gentlemen. This is a. How do I have no attachments for anything? God, I got a suppressor. Oh no, I should have a. No, how do I have no attachments on this thing? Dang! Oh wait, something has a suppressor. I saw something. Okay, this one has suppressination. We are going silent. We should be okay. As long as we creep around all sneakily. My God. Wesley, dude, he's got it coming, man. I don't know what kind of trip we're going to send him on, but it's going to be on a long one, I tell you that much. Right in the back of the head, dude. Where's he at? Please don't be anybody over there. That's like the perfect spot for a guard to be. Oh, sure enough. Go, 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 go. We got a combat situation! Dang it! Well, it was a good plan until a freaking... Why didn't we wait for Michael? Oh, Devin. I hope it was worth it. Oh, Devin. You can't stay down there forever, dog. Pretty close. Pretty close. You're cutting it close, Sam. I know, but we haven't died yet. kind of bored of killing you, That's a Duke Nukem reference. Dang right, dude. There's only what four. Yeah, so much for surrounding. There's only four of them, and they're all about to die. They're all gonna meet the Grim Reaperage. I got a shotgun, dude. Come, Come on! I'm a walking combat situation, <laughs> assholes. Dang right, man. Hold your line. Get a job. Don't let him near DW. Oh, it's too late. I'm inside of him. I just put down half your outfit back in town. <laughs> so much for that. Dude, and then my shooting went up to 100. How about that? Go to sleep forever. Oh, Devin! I would like to talk with you, home dog. Oh, he's hiding in the trunk. Why would he be hiding? He's dead something. Wait, wait, hear me out! Oh! No more talking! <laughs> yeah, we're done talking, dude. The time for talk is done. Hush now, Mr. Rudy. The time for talk is over. Or done and whatever. Dude! Let's take care of business. Monted? Monted like Monty Python? Get to the rendezvous point. Alright, Devin, anything you want to say before sentence is carried out? Yeah, Mr. Weston, let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOA, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. This one. Oh man, what a drive, ladies and gentlemen. This is this is something else. It's this is probably the perfect ending to the perfect game. I mean, you just what else? What else could you do to your enemies? You know? Oh, sorry, Devin. <laughs> well, I don't want to ruin anything, but there's a car involved and there's a cliff involved, so there's not much other ways this can go down. They're probably gonna be looking for us, so you know. But I, 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 oh, what's the same? Don't worry about it, Devin. You're not going to be anywhere in a short time. Pipe down! Oh, God. Dude, I... <sighs> what a game, huh? Final drive. And we're not done yet. We still got to do that last Epsilon mission. We're going to go through the, uh, the other endings, even though they're significantly shorter. And I still got to show off the UFO. UFO. Oh, that's not gonna the work. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, <laughs> Slick. I've got Slick. nothing against you. Apart from the obvious hygiene issues, Michael <laughs> caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me, I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Oh. This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Oh. Yes. yes, 
That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on. Come yeah, on. it's, it's not here. Sorry, man. I got my own company, Trevor Phillips Industries. Oh, yeah, a uh, fellow entrepreneur. Give me my estate and give you money to grow. I don't money. know if you heard, but I'm oh. kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing <laughs> to offer. Prepare wow. for the end, my friend. Shutting him down. I don't Sorry, Devin. It's nothing personal, but you made it personal once you asked me to kill my friend. This is why people want to kill you. You won't sh shut up. <laughs> Man, Dev, if you just learned to shut your mouth and stop screwing people and maybe sell your 11% of Meriwether, people won't hate you. But it's just too late for you now, man. Final drive. I'm on the landslide. Maybe it'll take you down for the ride. You don't want me to enemy. Find a happy place, you zen cock. Dang right. Because you're not going to be in a happy place soon. I want to enjoy it while like you got it. But anyway, who remembers that song from Crash and Burn, that old Xbox game? That is one of my favorite songs. I downloaded that entire album. Dude, Steve Rocket, he's an amazing musician. Maybe one day I'll get to, one of these days I'll get to meet him. I think it's Steve. Go meditate, you phony prick. Well, this is where it all ends, ladies and gentlemen. With a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. Oh, man. Couldn't pick a more beautiful place to end the game. Except maybe in heaven. That's more than a few minutes. Oh, look at that sunset. Oh, my God. Let's just listen. Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Franklin, I'll be here. <laughs> Yo, Frank, you made it. Hey, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and so. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough huh. that you didn't have to play by the rules. Funny. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. <laughs> Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I would ain't you going nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. <laughs> Push the car, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, Devin. Oh, there it is. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? <laughs> no, not really. No, All no. right, then. As uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, <laughs> hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Mm -hmm. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. <laughs> I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate yeah. you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, <laughs> man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. 
I'm getting too old for this nonsense. I knew that was coming, man. <laughs> I think I won't be able to monetize this one. Damn. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We did it in 88 short episodes. Thank you so much, Rockstar, for everything you've done for us. You've definitely made my childhood worth living, and I want you to know that comes from the bottom of my heart. So, but we're not done! We got a couple more things we gotta do. We gotta choose A and we gotta choose B. And we're gonna go do that in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Keep real. Oh, God. I can't. I can't get through. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's no, I, I can't. I can't get out. I, I, I can't. Thank you for watching. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be watching some credits in the next episode. <laughs> it's been my absolute pleasure. Keep it real. I just can't get out of here. I don't want a dashboard just to. We'll let it ride, I guess. Thank you for watching. I'm here with Kidra. I see Cassie's on the flip side. Peace.